Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I want to do here is show you how to multiply um, some binomials. Okay, now binomials are just a certain type of uh, polynomials. But um, the way we multiply binomials is we use this acronym. Okay, it's called the FOIL method. F-O-I-L. Okay, and it stands for first, outer, inner, last. So this is a great technique. And... Um, and, we're, and it only works w when we're dealing with binomials. And binomials are polynomials with two terms. So, for example, x plus 6, okay? That is a binomial. x by itself is a monomial. And maybe something like x squared plus 6x plus 6 is a trinomial, okay? So hopefully you know what I'm talking about. And when there's two things um, that are grouped together by an addition or, or subtraction sign, it's a polynomial you're dealing with the binomial. So the FOIL method only works with bi uh, binomials. Okay, so let's get to it. FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. Okay, so what's the first terms here? Okay, so what we're focusing in on is these x's. Okay, those are the first terms of each one of these binomials. Okay, so we're going to take that and we're going to multiply the first together. So x times x is x squared. Okay, so we're just going to write that right here. Okay, x times x is x squared, and that was our first. Okay, all right, outer. So let's do outer. Okay, our outer is going to be this x times way over here. It's the outer parts, these outer, outer numbers. So that's going to be x times 2. So x times 2, a positive 2, is going to be a plus 2x. Okay, so that's our outer. Let me erase this so we don't get confused. Okay, so our inner, our inner now is going to be these two numbers. So this is negative 5 and x. These are our inners, okay? So negative 5 times x is going to be a negative 5x, all right? So I'll just write that as plus negative 5x, okay? So that's our inner. And then our last our, is going to be negative 5 and 2. That's our last, okay? Because those are the last numbers in each one of those um, binomials. So negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. All right, so after you, you've run through this FOIL method, okay, so, or process, first, outer, inner, last, you're left with this, okay? You have x squared plus 2x plus negative 5x minus 10, and all you need to do is simplify it. Okay, so this is going to be x squared, and then right here, I have some like terms, 2x and negative 5x. I can add those together and I get negative 3x minus 10, and I'm done. Okay, first, outer, inner, last, FOIL method. Let's go ahead and just do one, one more real quick so you get the idea, All right? So it's not difficult. Let's use different variables. Let's say y plus 4 times, let's say, 2y minus 3. Okay, so first is going to be these variables here, y times 2y. Okay, that's our first in each one of these binomials. That's going to be 2y squared. Okay, so that's, I'm going to write it right here so we have some room. 2y squared. Our outer is going to be these outer terms, okay, y and negative 3. So that's going to be negative 3y. Okay, our inner is going to be 4 and 2y, so that's going to be 8y, positive 8y. And then our last is going to be 4 and negative 3, which is negative 12. Okay, and now I can go ahead and add my like terms right there. And I get 2y squared, let's see here, plus 5y minus 12, and I'm done. Okay, so the FOIL method is really easy. It's a great technique to uh, multiply these binomials. Later on, I'll show you how to do um, other uh, polynomial multiplication where you have, you know, la much larger poly uh, uh, polynomials. So, um, you know, the FOIL method is only one tool, only works on binomials. So hopefully this video helped you out. Um, please come by our website, algebratesthelper.com. It's a great free resource filled with uh, other videos like this and some um, excellent tutorials, all designed to make math really easy to learn. Okay, so take care and good luck.